Hello international community, welcome back to Full Scholarship's live video series. Today we will discuss about the BI Presidential Scholarships in Norway. And these scholarships are for the master's program and deadline extends to the next year. Before we proceed further with this information for today's opportunity, let me remind you to subscribe our YouTube channel Full Scholarships. Also, you can follow us on Instagram as well. The link for this BI Presidential Scholarship for Norway is given in the YouTube video description. Check out the link in the video description as usual. All the scholarships posted on YouTube have their links in the respective descriptions. Or you can scan the QR code embedded on the post, each individual post or the scholarship. If you scan that QR code, it will take you to the same scholarship as you seek for. Once you are redirected from the link in the YouTube video description, you can check out the information here. So this is from the Norway and it's a presidential scholarship in Norway. So some basic details, country is Norway, financial coverage is fully funded and deadline extends to the next year March. Eligibility criteria is also mentioned here and so you must be an international student to apply for this particular scholarship. The scholarship benefits are also mentioned and you can check out that. Then the documents required are also listed here. So you should have these documents then the application process is completely simple and you have to read it but there is an important point you need to keep in consideration so you have to submit an online application but you don't have to submit the scholarship application you have to write an application and a written application must be uploaded in the admission portal and you can check the steps as written here so applicants must submit a scholarship application letter describing their motivations for the program as well as reasons why their academic performances qualifies them for the program. So they must write a write written application. They must submit a written application through the admission portal. Students must submit a written application through the admission portal. So there you can apply for many scholarships, but the institute will provide only one scholarship. Once you are ready to apply, you can simply click on this apply now button here. So click on this. Once you click on this apply now button, you can check we have been redirected to the official presidential scholarship website. So this is from the Norwegian government in Norway and you can check the eligibility, how to apply and application deadline, selection of recipients and all details. On the top right side, there is a menu. So click on this menu here and you have to click on this master's program here. So click on this master's program. Once you click on master's programs, you can check that the website is there. The page has opened in front of us and you can check full search full program, search part time programs and full time master's program, full time executive education. So on the executive education, these are open right now and this will open in the next weeks. So for example, I'll be choosing the executive MBA here or you can check for the master's management MBA program or uh, whichever course you apply or you uh, prefer. So I'll be going for the executive MBA. So on the right hand side, click on any of the programs that you wish. So click on this. Once you do that, you can check the executive MBA page has been opened in front of us and program structure, interactive learning schedule, practical information and apply. So now in order to apply directly, so you can check the apply now. So click on this apply now button here. And once you do that, you can check the pages there and please choose the correct alternative so if you're for the first time so you can click on new applicant or if you have previously applied you can click on login so click on new applicant here once you click on new applicant you can check the create application is there scroll down a little bit and you can check the courses are shown there and the course is already there so if you want to keep it this in the priority one you have to keep the same information here now click on go to the registration here so click on this button here once you click on the go to registration application web page will be there shown so personal information details documentation review and send then receipt so you have to complete all the five steps here so first you have to fill the personal information then followed by the postal code address and then you have to create a password here so suppose i'll be choosing a password so i'll be going with that and the employer information if you have any and the country you have to choose from the list here so Please submit all the information, then the postal codes, country, and you have to click on create profile and continue. So if you let me fill the details first and go get back to you. So after filling that, you have to click on create profile and continue button and then the page might reload and take us to the next step. And let's wait for a few seconds so that our profile gets created 
and in the meantime it will take us to the uh, details section where we have to fill so let's wait for the page and let's wait for the page that it will show us and it's still so now you can check the temporary login is there so you are now temporarily logged in and you don't need to log in again in order to complete your application so click on just continue button here so once you click on continue you can check the details so executive masters in the background so higher international education yes click on i have uh, and then click on continue simply and keep things there and then scholarship so you have here is the important part so it mentions here so let me close uh, menu so now the written application that you need scholarship application that you need to write or a letter then you have to upload it here so you have to upload file here so many students will ask where to why where to write this so just a plain paper or you can just write in the word in the ms word or pdf file you can create that file or just write and take photographs then upload it here after that uh, you, i need help to pro, uh, produce my uh, digital document you can do also that after that click on the cv upload that upload the passport upload the pro previous education details then the recommendation letters if you have motivation essay you can submit that and the finance plan or research proposal then the transcript other documents you want to go for that and then click on the next once you do that you can check the review is there and you are ready to send application but you have to complete all the documentation first after doing that you can check the application code will be shown there and once you do that you can click on supplement documentation but it will be sent back as we have not uploaded the documents and once you have the review and send clearly you can submit the application and a receipt will be generated for you so you can keep that for the reference i hope you understood the process if you still have doubt in where to write application you can just message us and we will send you like the you have to just keep a plain paper and just write the how why you want to get this scholarship and why do you deserve this scholarship and then just upload it here in the scholarship section and you can up, uh, write two to three scholarship applications but in one scholarship or in one institute can only get one scholarship i hope you this covers all the doubts and if you still have doubt you can just comment in the below video or you can just message us on instagram so let me check if there are any comments in the previous video so here was our previous video the turkish scholarship in the sabansi university so we have a few comments here so first is from the nayi and is asking sir kindly make a video about nursing scholarship yes we have already made a video on about a nursing scholarship so let me send you the link so now we have the reply for the question so yes you can check out the link here and that we sent to you that covers the scholarships for the nursing as well so thank you for the, so now we have the next question and is from the abdullah haider the comment is that thank you very much i like the turkey scholarship thank you for appreciating us and being there then we have ubudu is asking bro it's only for graduate not ungraduate yes we did not Uh, we told you that there are uh, the subjects available in the Sabansi University for the UG, but this scholarship was particularly for the graduate. We already mentioned you. Yes, you are right. And then we have the last question from the Shanaz. Uh, unfortunately, Turkey not accept elites. So no, no, no. Uh, Turkey will accept the elites, but. in some courses it might not accept and it depends on the course that you apply but like for urdu it's not i if you are referring for the urdu subject it might not be required as the the ielts isn't related to urdu but if for other courses yes it's accepted in turkey as well so it depends on university sometimes if some seven university is not accepted in turkey uh, ielts there might be their internal conditions but other universities accept it turkey at 99% accept ielts scores I hope you I covered all the doubts and if you still have any doubt you can just mention in the comment section and in the next video we will take that comments and answer your queries and reminding you that the link for this today's scholarship is given in the today's scholarship that is the Turkish uh Norway scholarship it's given in the uh it's given in the YouTube video description check out the link it's given there so you can click on the link and you can apply for this scholarship also you can scan the qr codes as i already told you you can scan that qr code apply for the particular scholarship that you are looking for for example this sabansi university scholarship or uh, the france scholarship or netherlands scholarship you can scan the code 
and it will take you to our website here with this i hope i covered all the doubts please do consider subscribing i like this video and share this video with your friends hope you enjoyed this have a nice day ahead